boy Big said, man, I'm just sitting here waiting patiently. I've been at this receiver for four and a half hours. I picked up a load of dog food um, right in the suburbs of uh, Cincinnati. And, uh, and I'm going right back home. It's been a pretty easy week for me. And uh, it seemed like when things are going smooth and uh, every shipper and receiver that I went to starting Sunday, because I picked up a load Sunday at around 11 o'clock, took it down to Ohio and came right back home the next day, delivered a load here in my hometown and did it again. Went back, went back down, picked up another load here in Michigan and went back down. To Ohio and came back, and uh, every ship shipper and receiver were pretty pretty fast. I mean, they they got me out of there quick, and it seems like every time that I'm on my last low for the week, it is a hold up. When you know on that last one, it's always that last one. But anyway, it works out like that. Get paid a lot of money to sit and wait. Um, I got a load of dog food, and they told me, I, call, I called in there, and I said, hey, did you guys forget about me? Oh, no, we have to have special equipment to take off the dog food so that we don't rip any bags. Like, yeah, okay, all right, thank you. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm sitting here waiting patiently, but uh, yeah, I got an update on our insurance, so we are creeping up on our six month, six months um, with our own authority, and the insurance did drop. It dropped from paying nineteen hundred dollars a week to uh, we're paying now it's like seventeen fifty so it dropped a, a couple of hundred dollars so that's good um, we got progressive that's who that's who we that's who we got our insurance through and uh, that's good and uh, they offer just like with your car or anything else if you're paying full for twelve months they will knock off two thousand dollars so for like seventeen thousand we can pay the insurance up. For the whole year don't have to worry about insurance anymore so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take that extra two thousand dollars off why not then you have to worry about the monthly bill and you get a discount um some people might think that seventeen thousand dollars is a lot it's not i could have i could have easily made nine thousand dollars this week um i'm gonna be making grossing before a few about seven close to, real close to seven thousand dollars this week and that's with me being gone five, you know, being out for five days. Mind that I was at home uh, three days, so that's pretty good money for being home five, you know, for five days worth of, worth of work and home every other night. And uh, if I can keep doing that, I'm gonna keep doing that. I mean, you don't have to be gone and over the road for a long time to make some decent money, like a lot of these truck drivers are doing. Um, I'm not knocking anybody's hustle, but uh, I highly recommend that you get your own authority. If you don't, lease your truck onto your own authority where you're able, lease your truck onto another company where you're able to book your own loads, and then that way you can dictate where you go and when you come home and how much money you make. Now, uh, like I said, a lot of truck drivers, you know, uh, they, they like the guy that I was leased on to, he was just, he, he had me running basically down to, don't get me wrong, I like him, cool guy. I work with him, that's my boy. We, like, we've been friends for years, we talk all the time. But he was running me the way that he wanted to. He wanted to run the ship, pretty much. When I wanted to go home, I could go home, but he was picking me like far out loads, going down to uh, Missouri or or sometimes to Colorado, which Missouri's like 11 hours away. Uh, Colorado 16 I'm not trying to do all that and he, he pretty much knew that once I got on my own I, that I wasn't doing all that driving anymore but uh yeah anyway so out of that six almost seven thousand dollars for the week we spent 1200 in fuel so I would say we're probably gonna net just minus 12 1200 from around from about 6800 we take home the rest our truck and trailer is paid for so we don't have to pay anybody for that so that's good enough money for us right there um my wife is doing a really really good job i mean she has mastered her craft um at first you know i was overlooking it with her and you know 
um, helping me pick my own load. Sometimes I still I still look in there and see what's available. But right now she's got it so sold up, and she's got good built good relationships with um, you know um, brokers. They're calling us. We're 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 getting loads that we're not even calling on. They're, they're just calling, man. It's like this is you want to go here? You want to go here for two grand? Two grand? Like four or five hour trip? Hell yeah! But uh, so yeah, basically we've been running that. And I'll be coming back home. Uh, the last week and a half, when we had that big snow, that big snowstorm, I actually I stayed home for about four or five days. Like I don't have I don't have to work. I captain of the ship, CEO. You know, so I knew the roads were bad. I didn't come back out until I knew it was ready. And then during that time, I got my oil chain, my truck looked over. Um, I got uh, the power steering flushed because that that was bad in there and was running over so I got that changed new filter um, anyway my truck is ready to go it's ready to roll I'm gonna check engine lights are out I had to check engine light on because my truck has a little wiring it's got some little haywire issue go on every now and then a light will pop on by itself that's it's annoying though it's really annoying I'm gonna have the dealer take a look at it I, I think it was my batteries I had the batteries tested um, while I was while I took that little time off a little small vacation which I'm gonna take anytime I feel like I wanna take um, the vacation because I'm the CEO again. But um, yeah, uh, yeah, she, uh, my wife, she's been, she been booking, she's been booking those loads. And, and, and like I said, we got relationships built with people pretty good. And it's, it's, it is not hard, man, to, to do this on your own. I recommend anybody to get your own truck, you know, and your own trailer. If you can't get your trailer at first, at least get the truck lease or rent you know a trailer until you can afford to buy one but get out here and get this money get to it it's not hard and you do not have to be gone all the time like i said it's pretty good money my wife she had a really good job she stepped away from that job now she's just strictly working with us for our business and we're going to try to grow and expand our business that's what we're doing and eventually we get to the point where uh i'm satisfied i I probably, I probably just uh, lease my truck out, or not lease my truck, but uh, hire a driver and put a driver in this truck and pull this trailer for me. And I stay at the crib. We plan on getting a couple of rental properties, three, three at the max. With that's that's coming soon. That's coming. That's coming real soon. Later this year. Um, what else was there I wanted to talk about? Oh yeah, about about the insurance. So we're gonna pay that insurance up. Uh, and it should drop next year even more. I thought it was a little high because at first it was, like I said, 1900 a month. But uh, they told me that was because we were a first-time authority. Yeah, I didn't want to be on here for too long. My GoPro keeps stopping. So I'm going to get off of here. Um, I'm going to be off for about four days. I'm off for the weekend. Whatever this place let me go. We're going to go home and watch the Super Bowl, have some fun with family and friends. Everybody's coming over my house. I just got a new 85-inch um, TV, and uh, I'm like a kid with, with some candy, and I can't wait to sit in front of it and watch my TV. But uh, good luck to everybody on their journeys out here, driving trucks, and whether you're leasing a truck, working on getting your authority, and please get your authority. Um, God bless y'all. Y'all have a nice weekend, and I'm out of here. It's your boy. Peace. Thank you.